there's this dynamic that happens, right? It, it happens across every single project. It's that moment when you realize you haven't heard anything for several days. And so you think, well, the client is obviously gathering all the information, all the content I need, all the work or the priorities. They're collecting feedback on something I've delivered. You think they're doing work. At the same time, if you were to step into their company, if you were to walk into their offices and you ask them, hey, what, what's going on? Well, they're like, whoa, uh, those guys are busy thinking about you. They're, they're, they, we haven't heard from them in several days, but they're, they're hard at work. They're working through fixes. They're tweaking things. They're getting things prepared. They're solving big problems. It's amazing, isn't it? The, in the middle of silence... Both parties, both the folks that are involved in a project will end up assuming that the other person is busy at work, hard at work, and yet everybody's sitting there waiting. Silence doesn't help projects, right? Uh, we all like to assume the very best of silence. We think that silence suggests that someone is doing hard work, and yet in reality, more often than not, what we discover is that we were both waiting on something. So how do you deal with that? Well, as a project manager, you want to make sure that you're constantly checking in. You're constantly making sure that the pulse of a project is going fine and that everybody is on the same page, even if it's just a little email that says, hey, just want to let you know, here's what we've done and here's what we're looking to you to do. Or... If you've gone several days without doing anything, just circling back, letting you know the moment you get us this, we're ready to start again. It helps. It's not a massive amount of pressure, but it, it helps people know what's next. What do we do next? What do we do next? What do we do next? Like, what, what's the next step? Where are we at? And the more that you're the person anchoring What's happening? What's the state of the project? The more that you're engaged in level setting expectations, the better off everything is. Because when you're not leveling and managing expectations, then you're essentially going to be held beholden to someone else's expectation setting, even if it's inaccurate. Well, we thought you were doing this, 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 and now you'll suddenly be backtracking. So we don't want silence. I'd say that on, in general, for projects that are going to take longer than a week or two, three weeks, I mean, when you're talking about something that's not going to be done in four days, that, that waiting two days, maybe three, might be the maximum window of silence that you're going to want to allow, right? Because if you let a week or two go by and they think you're working on something when you're not, you're going to discover that you're in a ser you, you've already reached a serious problem. And by the point that you discover it, it will be too late. So on projects that are longer than a pair of weeks, I'd say two to three days is the longest you want to go. And, and then you just check in again. Even if your team is busy at work and you have nothing to show for it, you have, you, I mean, you don't have something presentable. You can still say, just want to let you know, these are the things we tackled over the last couple of days. Um, we're, we're, you know, you can reset the expectation or you can reinforce the expectation of when we'll have something for you. Even if everybody knows we're not going to have it until next Friday, circle back and say, we're still on track for next Friday. If you have a question, you can bubble it up. And if you're sitting there waiting for them, you say, hey, just want to let you know, I know that we're waiting on your folks. And I know you're collecting that data. Um, just want to reinforce that if we don't get it by this Friday, it puts next Friday in jeopardy. Level setting expectations, right? You just don't want to go too long with that silence.